Over the last five years, I did multiple demand forecasting projects for companies. These are the main things I learned. Number one, you should always, before starting to work on a demand forecasting model, try to understand what do you want to achieve. It's very important to keep in mind that demand forecasting is just a mean to an end. The end is making the right decision as a supply chain. So you should really think what are the kind of decision, the kind of action my supply chain needs to make so I, as a demand forecaster, I can provide the right piece of information to these teams. Point number two, you should absolutely track forecast value added. It means that when you have a demand forecasting process with multiple steps, you should track the forecast accuracy of every single step separately to be sure that each step is adding value. You should start with a benchmark, then your forecast baseline, then your demand forecasting team, then maybe your sales team or marketing team, and finally the SNOP final meeting. It's very important that you can assess the accuracy of each of these teams. Number three, it's very important to use the right forecasting metric and to use weighted metrics. It's very important to understand that not every single product in your supply chain is equally important. Some are some are worth more money, some are more critically important, and so on. So it's important when you track forecast accuracy that you put more weight on the most valuable product. Finally, number four, I think it's very important to understand that statistical model will only take you so far. At some point, you will reach a limit when statistical model will not be able to deliver more forecast accuracy. If you want to push this further, you need two things. First, it's to use machine learning. And second, you need to use the right kind of data. What data do you need? You can mostly bring data such as historical stockout, promotion, marketing, expense, as well as pricing. Note that I didn't include any fancy, expensive data sets such as external information that you could buy. I don't think this is super helpful on the short term for you. It's much more important to focus on what I call local data that you can have easily, such as promotion. If you do these four things, I'm quite sure you can get the best in class demand forecasting system.